The movie, No One Knows About Persian Cats, has no sex or drugs, just lots of rock and roll. Believe me, out there there's a jungle. The film tells the story of two young lovers with an almost childish dream to perform a rock concert in a country where art and music are strictly censored. Persian Cats was shot in Tehran in just 18 days. The director had to make it quickly and quietly because he did not have government permission to shoot the film. We are afraid. We went to the location. We couldn't come back for a second time because I was worried, but the, the uh, ministry About culture... Police. Yeah, yeah, police and the ministry culture. The film focuses on Iran's struggling underground music scene. <laughs> Director Bahman Gobadi compares these musicians to Persian cats because he says they get more respect outside the country than at home. Is there any artistic freedom in Iran? No, no, it really is not freedom. And look at the women and girls. They cannot sing. They cannot play the music. They cannot make a concert because the, uh, the voice of women is haram in Iran. Against and, God. Yeah. Since it's banned in Iran, Gobadi debuted the film at the Cannes Film Festival, where it won a special jury prize. Gobadi now lives in exile after fleeing last year's government crackdown in Iran. We met him at Istanbul's Independent Film Festival. <laughs> He told us this character is autobiographical. The fast-talking music and film producer Nader, shown here hustling his way out of getting flogged by an angry judge. Amid comic touches, there is also defiance. The lyrics of a heavy metal band forced to rehearse in a cow shed echo the frustration felt by many young Iranians. This young people, this is real Iran. This underground film has at long last given some of these talented young Iranians a cinematic stage to perform on. Ivan Watson, CNN, Istanbul.